Hey guys, so we just got back from a trip from Martha's Vineyard and it was so much fun. It was a lot of fun in the sun, a little bit of hermit crabbing, hermit crab. ah, amazing sunsets, and even more amazing food. Mm. The first few vacations we took as a family, I came back and realized we'd spent a lot of our budget on food instead of really memorable things like activities. So this time I came in with a few ideas for saving us money while we're eating on vacation, and I'm super excited to share them with you guys today. I'm Meg and I'm passionate about finding easy, healthy, delicious recipes for kids. Stay someplace with a kitchen or at least a refrigerator. Eating three meals out a day plus two snacks really starts to add up. If you can take some of that money and put it back into the amenities you're using at a hotel or a house that you're renting while you're on vacation, you're going to save a lot of money in the end and you're also going to end up eating healthier, which is awesome. The other thing you can do is you can bring a cooler on vacation and just refill it with ice each day and keep your things cold. Eat two meals in, one meal out, and pack your snacks. You know, we like to do breakfast and lunch in, and you don't even necessarily need a refrigerator for this. You can do cereal, and they've got these great milks that don't need to be refrigerated, peanut and butter and jelly, lots of fruit, some bars, things like that. And then if you do have a refrigerator, you can get fancier, you know, some Greek yogurt, eggs, turkey sandwiches, my favorite, bagels and lox. So this is a great way to save yourself some money. If you're going out to eat, scope out your target restaurants a few days ahead for the best times to eat. Kids hate to wait, I hate to wait too. So try to find out the off-peak times to go and you'll save yourself a lot of time. Sometimes you can ask a hostess if you visit the restaurant a few days before. Sometimes you can call and they'll tell you. Once you're at the restaurant, try to take home a souvenir. You know, when we were at the Black Dog, we bought home these really cute plastic cups that the kids got to use throughout the vacation. And they were just a great reminder. They made them feel like they were at the Black Dog even when they weren't. Find a great spot for a picnic. Think someplace like a beach or a park, something really scenic and memorable. We did a ton of picnicking at the beach and it was super fun. And then you can either go to the store, get some prepared food, you can find a park that has barbecue pits and cook there, or you can even cook at home and bring it with you. Either way, you're gonna end up saving a lot of money. We did an amazing blowout clam bake. Small family clam bake. Lobster is not the cheapest thing, but it's a lot cheaper to make it yourself than it is to get it at a restaurant. Explore the local food scene. You want to find out where the locals are eating because it's going to be cheaper and fresher than a lot of the tourist traps. You can find this information online or sometimes you can even just ask locals on the spot you're visiting. Another great local food scene is the farmer's market. It's a great place to stock up on things like fresh fruit that you can keep where you're staying for breakfast. You can also have treats be part of your local food scene. So usually there's like a great ice cream place you can take your kids to. <laughs> <laughs> or some fun bakery. Guys, are we having breakfast and watching the ferry boat? We also did a really fun cocktail that they only get on vacation and they love that. Cocktail hour! Use the change of scenery to your advantage. Your kids are going to eat more if they're not in their own environment. You know, you send your kids to a friend's house and they come back and they've eaten all these things that they don't normally eat and that's because they're not in their own environment. They like to try new things. On this vacation, Avery, my picky eater, was eating a potato like an apple because she had watched her cousins do that. And she'd also tried a turkey sandwich, which she'd never tried before, and I was really excited about that. And Brooks, who's not picky to start with, I got him to eat lobster and corn straight off the cob. So it's just a really great way to introduce your kids to new foods. All in all, it was such a fun trip. We got to spend a lot of time with family and eat a lot of really great food, all without breaking the bank. I hope these tips save you guys a little bit of money on your next family vacation. Thanks for watching, guys, and good luck. Bubba, can you say see you soon? See you soon. Uh, uh, on the